Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm gonna to take you all along on my day in the life as a millennial realtor and go over the truth of being young in real estate. So hi, if you don't already know who I am, I'm Bria Bone, your Austin, Texas real estate agent with the Bone team. I've been a real estate agent for almost two years now and it has been such a wild ride. For more videos on my life as a real estate agent in Austin, Texas, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Sunday and Wednesday. So today is Wednesday the 12th. My morning has been pretty low key so far. I had a call at 8.30 this morning with my realtor friend, Melissa. We're both in bold right now, which is an intensive and transformational program offered through the MAPS Coaching with Keller Williams. BOLD stands for Business Objective, A Life by Design. So I've taken it twice before. It used to be held one day a week, all day for seven weeks in a row. However, they've changed up the format so it's now two hours, four days a week for one month straight. Also, it's all online and in video. Personally, I would rather take the class in person. However, just because of everything that's going on right now, they did move it to an online slash video format, which I'm grateful for. So Melissa and I are accountability partners for this bold, which means that we've been speaking on the phone with each other every morning at 8.30 to check in on our mindset, numbers, any wins or learns from the previous day, and to practice scripts. So after that call, I ate breakfast, got ready for the day, checked my email, and did a few things on my computer. Now it's 10.30 and I'm headed to my closing appointment that starts at 11. So I talked about this deal in my last day in the life video, which I'll link below in the description. These clients are friends of mine and they're buying their first home, which is a new build in Pflugerville. So I won't be able to film during the appointment because I actually won't be going inside. Because of social distancing, a lot of title companies have made it that only necessary parties are allowed into the uh, title company slash closing room, which I completely understand. Um, that being said, I still wanted to come to the appointment and be there for moral support. So I'm just going to be waiting in my car while my client is inside signing. So let's head to the title company for my closing appointment. got done with closing. After the appointment with the title company, we went over to their new home really quick. Um, they had both of their cars full that they were going to begin unloading and they had actually asked me yesterday if I would come over and take a photo of them. Um, so we just did that really quick and then now I'm here to preview a few properties. So I haven't mentioned it yet, but today is actually my birthday. I turned 26 at officially at 11.03 a.m. this morning. So my parents are coming to town this Saturday to take me out to eat lunch. However, that's the only like official birthday celebration I'm doing. That being said, I think I'm gonna get takeout when I'm done previewing properties for a uh, late lunch slash early dinner uh, celebration. And then after that, I need to catch up on today's bold video. It starts at one o'clock on the four days that it takes place and it's actually 1.20 right now. I knew going into today that I would have to miss it though and thankfully they do, um, how they do it is they go live in the uh, private bold Facebook group and then the video just stays there after they go live. Um, so I mean it's not quite the same experience like getting to watch live and keep up with all the comments that people are making and participate in that way. However, with days like today, I don't really have a choice, so I'm just thankful that I can go up and make it up at a later time. So after that, I do have a um, checklist of post-closing tasks that I do every time I have a closing. Um, so I'm just gonna work on some of those things this afternoon. And then um, I don't really have anything else planned. I know I have a couple emails I need to send to potential clients, so I will probably do that. And then I actually forgot until now um, that I'm going to book my uh, West road trip 
for um, early September when I get home. Um, I've been putting it off just because I wasn't uh, sure of the of which exact dates would end up working best. However, um, I'm three weeks out from when I was tentatively planning on going. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it and book it all today. So fun fact, I actually started doing this about two trips ago. Um, so as a real estate agent, my schedule uh, varies a lot. So it's not always consistent and I don't always know like when exactly is the best time for me to go on vacation. So what I started doing is I planned the vacation completely um, like what I'm doing. So for example, this is a West Road trip and I'm stopping at a few national parks and gonna do some hikes. So I have the parks planned. I have the exact hikes that I'm gonna do planned. Um, I have backup ones in case I need to change them. I have the exact hotels picked out, like um, how long it's gonna take me to drive to each place, everything. Um, so I have that completely planned out and I've had it planned for a few months now. And then um, the only thing that wasn't planned was the exact dates that I was going. So I had it in my um, 411 slash like goals as I would go on this trip in late August or early September. So it gives me a little bit of flexibility and yet when I'm ready to book, like now for example, um, I don't have to worry about trying to plan the trip at all. I have it all planned out. I can just go ahead and book it and be ready to go in three weeks. So if you have an inconsistent schedule like me, I highly recommend um, trying that with planning your vacations. It's worked out pretty well. Okay, so let's go preview a few properties. So hi, it's Bria from the future. Let's go over the truth of being young in real estate. So let me preface this discussion by saying that I absolutely love working in real estate and I am so, so grateful that I decided to go down this path. That being said, there are a few disadvantages to being young in real estate. However, I believe that they're worth it because of the advantages. So let's start with the disadvantages. The biggest disadvantage is the type and number of clients you get from your sphere. FYI, by sphere, I mean your friends and family and anyone else who already knows, likes, and trusts you. So for me, I just turned 26 by the way, the majority of my sphere do not own a home. I can count on one hand the number of people in my sphere who already owned a home when I first went into real estate two years ago. Therefore, the type of clients I can currently get from my sphere are buyers. So in real estate, they say lead with listings because listings have leverage. What I mean by that is that the marketing you do from one listing can lead to more listings and buyers. Therefore, ideally half or more of your business will be listings with sellers. So on top of the fact that the majority of my sphere are buyers, they're also not quite in the financial position or right mindset where they can and want to buy a home. However, I have noticed over the past couple years, more and more of my sphere are showing interest in real estate. Therefore, I think starting in the next couple of years and then continuing for probably a decade, a lot of my sphere will begin to buy their first home. So my future business in regards to my sphere is great. However, my current business is not so great. That being said, I haven't like just cast them to the side. I still include them in my Legion plan. And like I said earlier, more and more of them are showing an interest in real estate, which is so exciting. Even if they don't end up buying a home for a year, three years, five, 10, whatever, it's so exciting to me that they're starting to be interested in real estate and move down the path of becoming a homeowner. So while my age may have me at a disadvantage in that regard, I'm in it for the long haul, so I see it more as delayed gratification for all my hard work. The other main disadvantage is that people don't take you as seriously. So it's generally said that it's easier to get clients from your sphere because these are people that already know, like, and trust you, whereas random strangers don't. Therefore, if you're meeting a random stranger that could potentially be a client, ideally, you would have everything working for you in that situation. This is where being young may have you at a disadvantage over an older agent who looks like they're more experienced and seasoned. That being said, I think a lot of this is mental. I think if you initially come across as confident and professional, 
most people who were going to immediately dismiss you because of your young age may be willing to rethink that. So it's your job as a young real estate agent to come across as confident and professional as possible. For me, I realized personally that knowledge equals confidence. The more knowledgeable I am about real estate and a specific situation, the more confident I am. Therefore, I've made sure to partner with a brokerage that focuses on learning, which is Keller Williams Realty, and to continuously take classes and training. Also, for each specific situation, I make sure I prepare as much as possible before. Obviously, I can't prepare for every possible situation, and yet I feel confident that with my specific preparation and overall training and the resources available at Keller Williams, that I'll be okay. Lastly, I always dress professionally and make sure I look put together for every appointment, showing, etc. Now let's go over advantages. The biggest advantage is time. So real estate is a career that builds over time. For example, let's say you help one client your first year. The second year, they refer you to two clients, so now you've helped three clients total. The third year, each of those three refers you to two clients, so now you have nine total. Those aren't the exact numbers you'll experience, obviously. However, you get the idea, which is that the longer you work in real estate and the more contacts you make, the more clients you'll get. Like I said earlier, I'm so happy working in real estate and I'm in it for the long haul. So again, this is just like delayed gratification for me. Also, personally, I would rather it be this way where it builds over time instead of decreasing over time. The second big advantage is technology. So I'm a millennial. Actually, when I was working on my branding, I was looking up alternatives to millennials since we sometimes get a bad rep and I came across the term digital native. Digital native is defined as the first generation to grow up speaking the digital language of computers and the internet. So I'm a young millennial, meaning I'm close to the switch over to Gen Z, so I can remember a time without technology, however, it's a faint memory. I got my first cell phone when I was 12 and it was a pink razor, and then I think I got my first smartphone, which was an iPhone, um, when I was maybe 14 or 15. I honestly really enjoy the fact that I was born in 94 because I feel like I hit this sweet spot where the majority of my childhood was spent without technology and yet when technology started becoming more ingrained in our society, I was able to easily pick it up because I was still relatively young. So our world is turning more and more to technology, including real estate. If you understand technology and you learn it fairly easy, you already have a leg up over older generations who don't understand it as well and aren't able to learn it as easily. Overall, I definitely think there are disadvantages to working in real estate. However, I think the advantages make it worthwhile to pursue a career in real estate. So if you're interested in becoming a real estate agent, click the link in my description below for a discount to an online real estate school where you can take all the pre-licensing classes required and prepare for your exam. Also, below that link is a link for more information about working in real estate and or with Keller Williams Realty, so fill that out and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now back to the main video.
thank you so much for coming along with me today. If you're interested in buying a home, fill out the form in our link below for your free home buyer guide. Also, if you're interested in becoming a real estate agent and or joining Keller Williams Realty, fill out the form in our link below for more information and to get your real estate career started. Lastly, check out these additional videos on my life as a real estate agent in Austin, Texas. And if you like this video, hit that like button, be sure to subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye for now.